Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is 11-8-2023. Welcome to yet another vlog. It's about 8.32. Woke up not too long ago, man. Um, yeah, not much more said. Uh, let's get into it. I'm about to go ahead and get all my levels charted out and get everything out to the Discord here really, really soon. I'm probably actually going to go ahead and uh, get a coffee too. The market is open, boys. Um, I meant to pick up the camera actually from the market open. It's about 9:50 a.m. right now. I actually already did take a loss, man. I'm not. I'm gonna be straight up. I'm gonna be straightforward with you guys. Actually, I already did take a loss here on Spy. Or sorry, QQQ. I seen it rejecting off this strong previous um resistance and supply zone, closing a five a nice, actually pretty nice five minute bearish candle uh, off the level and below VWAP. Um, as you can see, but um. Dude, I'm not sure, man. I've just been not sure. I've just been I, honestly, bro. I just haven't been trading good recently. I really have been, bro. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I really have not been trading uh, good recently. Um, I'm really not sure what I could have done better here on this trade. I guess I could have waited for the. I'm not really sure, bro. I mean, I guess I should have waited for this level to either be broken above or this key or a kind of pre-market lows to be broken. I'm pretty sure that's what I could have done better or just overall trading with the overall trend and not trying to short the market when we're in an overall very bullish trend. Either ways, man, um, yeah, that was the first trade of the day. I took a small 15% loss. I will update you guys if we take any other trades or I see any other potential setups. All right, boys, it's about 1.39 p.m. right now. About to get ready for work soon. I did want to show you guys that we did have an over 100% winner today. Um, you know, I just caught this not too long ago. Actually, it was a little while ago, maybe an hour or two ago, hour and a half ago. But let's go back over and see what we caught. It was just playing on QQQ. I was actually telling my Discord to watch out for this play here on um, QQQ. Uh, same sort of setup on QQQ and um, little focus QQQ and Spy. As you can see, I was waiting for a pre-market low once we got that pre-market low. Um, it, you know, Spy and QQQ both had a huge drop. Um, I made about 123% off this, as you can see, QQQ 371 right there. Fire, fire trade. Um, it's actually my, been my best trade for a while, man. I feel like this week has kind of been off. Last week, I really didn't trade at all. So, I mean, that's pretty much going to be it for the market today. We did have that 15% loss in the morning. And then we just had 123% winner. Um, you know, solid, solid trade. A decent green day. Um, you know, I'm probably going to be watching until I have to get ready for work. And then probably on the way to work, I always have my laptop open on the seat next to me. So, uh, guys, honestly, I'll just pick up the camera probably be, uh, before I leave for work again. So, I'll hit y'all. All right, but I'm actually about to go ahead and leave for work. It's about 2.48. Dude, I need to change that clock. It's so bad. Go about to go ahead and leave. I got to get gas before I go. So, I'm leaving a little bit early. I work at 3.30. And then after that, we're going to go um, hit back day at the gym. So, honestly, I'll just hit you guys when I get to work. It's about 3.20 now. About to go ahead and head in for work. So honestly, I'll just catch you guys when I get out. As always, I'll be out around 10.30. 10.49 p.m. Just have arrived at the gym. It's a back day today, bro. I'm not going to lie. Something in my shoulder, like, feels fucked up. So, um, shouldn't really affect the back day. But I think tomorrow I do have off work. So I really don't want to take a rest day. Because, um, you know, I, have, I don't have work. So it would be a good day to go hit the gym. Um, but I want to let this shit heal. I don't know. It's not like too bad, but I should be able to hit this back day. I'm going to stop rambling. I'm about to just head in here and I'll obviously hit y'all when we're on our first machine. Um, let's get it, man.
Okay, I know you guys probably can't see me right now, but honestly, I'm gonna be completely honest. Um, we went ahead and left the gym only because my old my my uh my left shoulder is like, dude, I got like a pinched a pinched nerve. It just feels like a sharp pain when I move it, and I don't want to be uh you know forcing anything. It, I mean, it, I know, I know, shoulders don't really have anything to do with back day, right? But I mean, when I go to lift up or go to reach up for like the bar or whatever whatever kind of exercise I'm doing I definitely can feel that pain and plus my friend was back in town so I was just like you know what bro I may as well just dip from the gym um you know I guess I should have stayed at the gym and finished that back day I'm kind of dis I'm honestly kind of pissed and disappointed at myself you know I kind of left to go hang out with my friend I don't mean that in a bad way because I, I um he's like my best friend and he's been uh, he's been away for college he's back in town um, but just the discipline aspect of it, like, you know, I should have just stayed there and finished that back day. But honestly, um, I just feel like I'm making an excuse for myself and it feels like I'm slacking when I'm saying about my shoulder. It really does. Like deep down, I know that it feels like an excuse and stuff like that. And I should have left the gym, finish that back day, whatever. I'm not going to really let it get it to me like that. Um, it's about 1238, uh, AM right now. So what's about to happen is I'm about to go ahead and go inside. I actually just got home and then, uh, Probably go ahead, get something to eat, brush my teeth, and we'll head to bed. Obviously, I'll pick up the camera, and I actually will this time, man. I'm a, I'm saying that, man, I'm, I'm getting better with picking up the camera, man, before I go to bed and finishing out the vlog the way it should be. I'm getting these vlogs the way they should be, the way they need to be done, man. So I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to go ahead and head inside.